We're so excited to be starting off a new year with our friends from Elma Draft House. Curtis Killings, we're so good to see you. Happy New Year, friend. Happy New Year to you guys. Happy New Year. I believe the last time I saw you was at our Christmas vacation movie party at Elmo, which was amazing. Yes, that was a lot of fun. You guys did amazing. You did a great job on trivia. Well, the first round, not yeah. the Christmas vacation <laughs> trivia. Well, right. yeah, well, you finally watched it yes. for the first time. And now I can actually do that trivia, and I think I do pretty well. Perfect. Well, next year we'll... We'll re-up the Christmas back. vacay trivia and see yes. how you do. There we so go. So you excited about the new year, Alamo, and the movies coming out? Like, it's, it's exciting time. It is an exciting, it's actually one of the most exciting times as a cinephile right now because the year is over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to reflect on all of the, the 2023 releases as award season gears up and we can look back on all the great stuff that happened mm -hmm. in 2023, which is a really, really good year yeah. in cinema, I think. I mean, Barbenheimer. I mean, come on, that, that was iconic. Yeah, the year. so good. It will, it'll always be remembered too. Mm -hmm. Barbenheimer will be. You guys saw Barbenheimer, didn't you? Or at least we saw Barbenheimer. We saw Barbenheimer. Yeah. Half of Barbenheimer. <laughs> yeah. I, I I can tell you, my one of my favorite films of the year is Poor Things, which I rank number two, possibly number one. I'm fighting with Oppenheimer as which one's mm. my favorite, but okay. Poor Things is out right now. We have it. It stars Emma Stone. And Mark Ruffalo, oh. Willem Dafoe. It's so good. It's that's in theaters, right? In theaters right now. So you okay. still have time to see some of the, the great films of 2023. And as January rolls along, we'll get more of the, the independent releases as they gear up for award season. We'll get more mm -hmm. and more of those. But one of them, poor things in right now. It's a must see. You gotta see it. It's so good. The trailer looked very quirky. It's quirky. It's weird. It's strange. Weird. Strange, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a strange film for sure. But don't let that turn you off because it's really a, a, a universal story, deep, deep down under the layers. It's okay. a universal story, okay. uh, but it's it's definitely in a in a strange way about it. Okay. What do you, what would you say then? Okay, you just mentioned those two for like top, but like, do you have like a, a round about like top five? Do you do top ten? When you're thinking about the movies of last year, where do you, where do you, where do you go into? Oh, I make a list all the time, so I definitely have a top ten. My top five, which would be easier, is Oppenheimer and Poor Things are are right there, mm -hmm. battling it out. Um, and I really, I don't know what would be in my number three right now, uh, but it, but it's really it's close. Like I, I loved Maestro, which just came oh, out with yep. Bradley Cooper. Mm -hmm. Bradley Cooper was so good in that movie. Yeah. There was great animated films this year, uh, like Across the Spider-Verse. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about I forgot that. that. Yeah. Or Into the Spider-Verse. Into Or Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The animated Spider-Man film from there 2023. There we go. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. a good one. So, so what does Alamo Draft House have gearing, what are you guys gearing up for in 2024? Well, there's a uh, gearing up for everything. Yeah. A full slate of another year of movies. Yes. Which is really exciting, which starts this weekend with uh, a new James Wan produced horror film called Night Swim. Oh. Big horror film fan, Maddie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have that coming out this, this <laughs> week. Uh, with so many good movies to expect all year long. Yeah. So Are people excited stuff. about the, uh, the Mean Girls musical? Yeah, I actually had someone come in yesterday trying to buy tickets. And oh, really? like, it's not out yet. They came in, they're like, I want to see it tonight. You're like, like me well, too. Me too, but, but we don't have can't. it. <laughs> you can't. But yeah, that's just two weeks away. Wow. Mean Girls comes back to the big screen. I don't know. I I'm, just, I, I've got nervous. my reservations about it. Because the first one is so iconic in itself. And I know this is based off the musical version. Right. But uh, we'll but see. I think Tina Fey still has her hand in she, making it. Yeah. yeah. So that, she does. So that gives me hope. Yeah. Because Mean Girls is really a brilliant movie. Yeah. And don't is. quote me on this. I think Tina Fey's husband wrote the music for it. I have no idea. I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'll Google that. But I'm pretty sure I remember doing an interview with because her husband is a brilliant musician. Mm -hmm. So I think he may have written it. Well, but, okay. I'll find well, out for sure. We'll Google I don't that. Speak out of turn. <laughs> Jeremy says in house <laughs> the whole thing for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Um, by the way, too. What about? Um, I saw something about uh, the private suites and mm. the capsule films from 1999. Oh yeah, so that's really exciting. So one of the things we're going to do uh, starting off the year is a time capsule for 1999, which was a great year okay. in cinema. Okay. A great year. Uh, controversial year even because of all the great movies that didn't get love later because there was too many great movies to Ooh. to all get it so we're doing a 1999 time capsule for me that's exciting because the matrix is coming back oh okay which is one of my favorite sci-fi films of all time uh-huh probably my probably my favorite one ever great action films that's gonna that's gonna gear up the year flashback 25 years 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, the private suites are, are up for grabs uh, for playoff football time. Oh, so people can oh. rent out the suite and then watch the Chiefs play That's or right. the team? Yes. Oh. Whoever your team is, but preferably the Chiefs. Yeah. Um, but we'll accept anybody. Okay. Okay. Now, Begrudgingly. Do, do the private suites also come, like, can you order from the back lot? Very much oh, like yeah. a regular so you, movie. You come in, you rent the suites. They're extremely affordable. And you get, you know, you get full service while you're in there. But you get your private suite, your nice big screen to watch. Oh, that sounds like fun. To watch your, your Chiefs win a playoff game. Yeah. yeah. Or three. Curtis, can I put you on the spot quickly before we run out of time? Because yes. I want your opinion. Okay. Chris Luzader, Critics' Choice, yes. Movie Division, yeah, on go. TV. I want your opinion. Critics' Choice is in two weeks. Yes. Of these nominees, who would you give Best Picture? American Fiction, Barbie, The Color Purple, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, or Saltburn? I'm going to give it to Oppenheimer. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to give it to Oppenheimer. Again, Poor Things, I, it's so close. Yeah. Me, I just but. wanted your expert, because you know, you see movies, you and Jen John right there, yeah. you think of it every day, all day long. So. I'm telling you that Barbie had such a big year mm -hmm. all year long, and I think Poor Things is like its worst enemy yeah. coming into award oh. season, because all of those, the set design, the costume design, all those things that Barbie had locked up for so yeah. long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Poor Things is going to give it a run for its money. Slow it out of we'll the We'll see water. how good Barbie does when it when it comes around. That, that's the exciting race for me. Okay. Well, you know, thanks, well Curtis, so much. Good, Good to see you, Curtis. Uh, and Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. So, you guys, we'll be back with more fun on Ozark's Fox AM right after this. Don't go anywhere. Sorry to put you on the spot, but I had to.